Hello and welcome, Zamora Gaming fans. I am your host, Joe Zamora here, and we have an amazing, amazing battle to bring you here this week for week seven. We have the one, the only, the number one seed in the league right now, the LA Nito Kings. Undefeated 6 0 versus our New England Chartriots at 5 and 5 and 1. So if we win this game, we are the number one seed. If we lose, we're number two seed. Eh, so we stay where we are. But we face Devin, I believe. If we lose. And if we win, we get to face Berm, the only person who's beat us this far. <clears throat> so let's see how this battle goes. For sure, um... LA Nido Kings have a really scary team, just as much as anyone else. So this is going to be a battle to behold right now, right here. Cinderace is definitely a problem. Danny Max, most of his battles have went to timer. He does have a great defensive core with Galarian Weezing as physical defense. Uh, Mandibuzz can be run specially defensive. He might bring it this week, I don't know. We do have a few special attackers that can deal with it, but maybe he's going to stick to his tried and true bold. Um, everything I expected to see except Cinderace. So, you know, not too bad not to see Cinderace on the field. Maybe he expected me to bring Lycanroc. I did not bring Lycanroc this week. First week I did not bring it. So this is going to be a very interesting battle, to say the least. We're going to go ahead and lead off Goddard here. Maybe he tries to lead uh, that offensive Milotic again that he brought, uh, I think, maybe week three. Or maybe he tries to get, you know, I don't know. Maybe he tries to get the belly drum sweep off real quick. I honestly don't know what he's bringing. And I'm very nervous, of course. But we have Pokemon to counter his team. And we have ourselves a sweeper. I will not reveal it until that time comes. So let's go ahead and see what ends up happening here. I think my music is a little loud. I'm going to turn it down just a bit. <sighs> Good luck, have fun, Danny Mac. This is a battle everyone has been waiting for. Okay. Aerith, the Galarian champ. So we do have a Roserade on the field. Um, we're just going to kind of get a hit off with the Volt Switch. The battle was canceled. Oh, he only brought one Pokemon. All right, let's pause real quick. All right, guys, and we're back. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the same leads, of course. But I am now second guessing my my play to Volt Switch. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna switch out. <clears throat> no one clicked a move. He didn't know what I was going for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out first turn. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to not push the done button. But yeah. So maybe that would change the whole dynamic of the game. But he's the one who only brought one Pokemon. This is the real. This is the real go round this time, and we're gonna make the smart decision. Okay, so clearly Roserade comes out. We send out our Jolteon Goddard. Shout out to what's that show again? Jimmy Neutron. <sighs> All right, Heart Switch. No, 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 no. That would have been terrible. Undertaker. Heart Switch to Undertaker. Hopefully he goes Pilot Swine here. I, I know Piloswine could still do damage to us, but I'm hoping to get some flinches off on it. But we'll just have to see. Okay, so Aerith goes just for spikes, which is fine. And his team, I mean, he could pretty much go anything. So I'm just going to go. I don't think he stays in. I'm going to go Toxic. Anything on this team besides this thing doesn't want a toxic. And it goes sleep powder. God. Amazing, amazing play. 
<sighs> Good play. So it is faster than us for sure. Let's go ahead and go for an air slash. Just try to wake up. Hopefully turn one. We get lucky. But those spikes are definitely going to be annoying. Okay, so he just goes straight out to Rude. Yeah, he's going for the sweep right now. And we have the Pokemon to deal with it. Let's go ahead and go straight to Dart. And we bre we made this thing to be faster. It's It should be faster than Rude, and it should one kit kill with Poison Jab. Without a doubt, should kill. So let's see if it actually goes for Belly Drum here. Okay, so he predicted us. Sending out Barrett, of course. Oh, he's making all the good plays. He's making the plays here, which is not good for us, but, you know. Let's go ahead and go Undertaker here. Because we can take advantage of this. So he goes Barrett. Maybe wasn't expecting us to go Charizard here. And then let's just go ahead and go for the Air Slash. I'm assuming he runs max defensive, not special defense. Okay, cool. So he's going to go for the Stockpile here and try to gain all those special defense boosts, which could be bad for us. And he does have the leftovers. Or Black Sludge. Let's hope we get a flinch here. Another Air Slash. If he switches, he didn't expect us to wake up there. So that would be a little bit in our benefit that we actually got damage off on this thing. So Berserker can come in on it later and get the kill. As you can tell, guys, I am very nervous about this battle. Long awaited versus Danny Mac. And I do not want this thing going to timer. So making quick plays, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Get the flinch! Yes! Due to that damage, I assume another air slash will take this thing out. And then Berserker can be pretty much fodder for us. Let's see what he chooses to do here. Okay, so he did withdraw. So that's good for us. So he goes Tifa here, which of course, great play. Gets his burn off. And... I don't know what to do here. We're going to go Goddard. Hopefully he doesn't have Triple Axel. That, that's the only move we really don't want to see. Triple Axel is not the move we want to see. We are Specs. Okay, so he, he read us pretty good there. Speed fell, but we're still faster. Um, we're going to switch out. We're going to switch out back to Charizard here. Assuming Barrett's coming in, you know, just... He's making plays. We're going to make plays. Come on. we so, Something's got to break. Does he switch? He switches. Perfect. Maybe we can start building some momentum. Alright, so Barrett comes in. We're just going to go for Air Slash. Maybe get a... Uh, maybe get a flinch. Who knows? He's clearly going to go for damage. Okay, he goes for Curse. <sighs> That's fine. 
I'm okay with that. We're going to go toxic here. Yeah, I didn't expect to see that on Charizard, did you? So Barrett gets damaged. He goes for Rock Slide, hits, of course. And that should be a one-hit KO on Undertaker. But he's poisoned, so that's what's important. So we're going to go ahead and go Leonardo here. Leonardo here. And he could pretty much go for a free earthquake. Which I'm expecting him to do. <sighs> We're going to go ahead and go for a waterfall here. We're going to go first. He might not expect physical uh, Blastoise either. Oh, he's Dynamaxing here. All right. Well, that's not good for us. We might be able to live the hit. It is a pile of swine, but it still hits like a tank. And it's plus one. And has plus one defense. We could be knocked out here. But poison will slowly chip away at his team. Max Quake comes off. Doesn't take us out, but you know. He does boost his special defense. But he is poison. So that's at least chipping away at his uh at his Pokemon here. Let's see, if I could play this right, I could get, that's two turns of Dynamax already, right? Oh, that was a critical hit too. <sighs> Jesus. Pretty much he could take any hit from the next Pokemon. He has two special defense boosts. He's going to be faster than Berserker. I didn't make it speedy. Um, I'm just going to have to sacrifice Berserker here. I think Slurpuff could take care of the rest of his team. That plus one attack. The plus one attack is scary. We'll, we'll just have to see. Hold on. Let's go for the seed bomb here. See what he does. Probably just goes for the max quake. Oh, we are we were faster. Should have went for Iron Head. Yeah, I, I figured that much. Okay. Uh, poison take it out. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, man, that's not good for us. So Sucker Punch is mainly here for Cinderace. So I was hoping to get some damage off on it to hit it late. But, like, but Galarian Weezing is weak. Um, let's just go ahead and go for Drain Punch. Oh, he's preserving the Barret. Jesse. Okay, so Jesse comes out here. And it might not be a bad Pokemon to set Oh, no, it is a bad Pokemon to set up on. It has foul play. <sighs> Let's see. It does not have leftovers. So let's go ahead... And switch to Goddard here. I'm just trying to set up the Slurpuff, honestly, at this point. We're, we're way behind on Pokemon. And that Spikes is definitely not helping us. 
Let's just go ahead and Thunderbolt since we lost our specs. So, we, I mean, we could switch moves later. <clears throat> and honestly, Barrett goes down to poison from that range. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it should. Okay. So, Barrett goes down. Would have been a safe setup for Slurpuff, but... I mean, you only get so many chances to do that. Okay, so Aretha, Areth, I should say. We're just going to go ahead and get a hyper voice off. So it goes Sludge Bomb. I think it's going to be locked into Sludge Bomb. Gonna go dart here. I know I'm losing a lot of time here, but I got I got it. I gotta It's gotta be a really safe switch. Who can he switch to here? He can go Azu. I'm just gonna poison jab. Okay, so he goes Jesse the fat bird. Oh man. Poison jab goes off. Get the poison and it does. Alright, beautiful. So now the question is, are we faster than Jesse here? Because the next one will take it out. We got a chance at Hey, Jesse, are you faster than my dart? And you're not! Beautiful! <sighs> Alright, so we finally get a kill off on one of his goddamn Pokemon. Other than Barret. But we are losing chances to set up on, on, this, uh, on his team. We're just gonna poison jab. We're meant to be faster than this wheezing. I don't I don't know if it can take the hit. And it can't. Beautiful. Dart is making an appearance. Second uh I believe second draft league battle to be brung in. And he's putting in the work in this one. Okay, we're gonna We're gonna drain punch here. What can he do to us? I'm going to Drain Punch. If anything, I could set up with Slurpuff on this thing. And we'll be in a good spot. We will be in a good spot if I can do that. Okay, so it goes for a cover. It's going to try to stall us out. And I'm actually going to Dynamax here. Dynamax time. We got a Dynamax. This is not going to timer. It's not. Um, and, it, you know, good thing is, if he does kill us, Slurpuff can, uh, certainly, can certainly set up on this thing. But Dart is in a perfect uh, spot to actually win us this game here. Because we are going to plus our attack as much as possible. And uh, if it only has water move, then oh, it does have mud shot. Okay, Tifa's burn though. We are plus one now. Uh, 90, 90, 120. You know what? Let's let's go for the marbles here. Let's just go 120. Let's go for the 120 attack. Oh, Tifa's faster than us. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We can set up a slurp up now. It's not offensive, so we can do this. We still have a chance. One Pokemon, but it's our sweeper. Chowder. Come on. 
She's not your girlfriend. Belly drum up, baby. Let's do this. Okay, so he goes first, which is beautiful. So we get our belly drum off. We don't lose our plus six. Yes, baby. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Tifa's low. I think Drain Punch takes it out. We are plus six. Going for Drain Punch because we don't want to risk the misc on Play Rough. Come on, Chowder. Oh, it lived on one! That is not good for us, guys. That is not good for us at all. Oh, man. And Burn's going to take it out. Son of a bitch. I can't sit up again. Because I don't have enough health. I could potentially not live the hit that he does to me. Okay, this is a bad spot. I mean, we have to go for Belly Drum again. We just do. And he knows it. Let's see if he goes for the attack or if he gets greedy and belly drums. I guess it comes down to this. I mean, Hayes, I mean, I saw it coming. But I really thought Drain Punch would do the work. Two. I mean, it's the risk I'm going to have to take. He's thinking. He's certainly thinking. What does he go for here? Maybe he doesn't know, he doesn't think he could take us out at this range. All right, belly drum takes us down to 64 HP. Can we live this hit? Oh, and we don't. Son of a bitch. Ah! Hayes, Danny Mac, good game, man. You shit. I should have went play rough. Either way, great game. Don't regret the plays I made. Drain Punch should have done enough. Maybe I got a low roll. Maybe I didn't. Uh, I mean, competitive Milotic, you know, it's that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. So we fall to 5-2. and two. We will be playing um, Devin of the Rising Raichus. Hopefully we can get another win on him in the playoffs. And come back around and kick Danny's ass for living that 1 HP Drain Punch. From plus six. Oh, man. Well, all right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Leave that like button if that was as intense for you as it was for me. And I will see you guys next time.